New tonight, an important alert for parents. A new report released today shows an alarming number of small children have been exposed to cannabis after accidentally eating an edible. Many edibles come in the form of candies, cookies, brownies, and products that can have a strong appeal for children. CBS 4's Naja Sherman joins us live from the newsroom with what parents need to know. Naja. Lauren and Elliot, gummies and other sweets containing a potent ingredient meant for adults are sending children to emergency rooms. One mother shared her story with CBS News. Elizabeth Perry says she felt helpless as it became clear there was something very wrong with her 21 month old son Oliver. When I laid him down in his crib, he kind of went rigid and started shaking and crying. Within an hour, he was in the hospital. Doctors determined he had THC in his system, the chemical and marijuana that gives users a high. Oliver managed to open this tin containing edible cannabis gummies that Elizabeth used to help her sleep. To him, it looked like candy. My first thought was, I did this to him. You know, this is my fault. In just five years, the number of small children in the U.S. exposed to cannabis after accidentally eating an edible rose 1,375 percent. According to the National Poison Data System, there were more than 7,040 exposures to edible cannabis in children under six between 2017 and 2021. Dr. Brian Schultz was part of the team that treated Oliver. If you're going to use these substances, um, just realize that they look very attractive to kids. They're oftentimes packaged in uh, uh, tins or other packages that look very attractive to kids. One, two, three. Oliver made a full recovery. He's back to his old self. His mother, Elizabeth, is not. What's terrifying is I know that if he found the gummies again, he would eat them again, which you know is why it's so important, I think, to lock these up and to have them really out of reach. Doctors say don't just hide the edibles, lock them up too. This is becoming an issue as edibles become more common in homes with children. Naja Sherman, CBS4 News Tonight. Important advice there, Naja, thank you.